What is going on everyone, Ian Paul on the NASCAR Heat 2 career mode and we are off to get our race underway. Just have a quick check of the stats, as you can see, 5 races, 3 wins. Champion. Now that's a 60% success rate. I'm very hopeful of another win today because we are going to ride John Hunt and Ibercheck's truck, in fact no we're not. We have changed from John Hunt and Ibercheck to what must be a better truck, we've got Chase Briscoe's truck. Oh, oh, oh. oh they must be that mad at Chase that uh, they're going to give me a go and see how I do. So it's going to be my debut for Brad Keselowski Racing. And without further ado, I think we should get onto the track and see how the 29 does around the tricky triangle of Pocono. Alrighty then, set up on, let's qualify. <clears throat> so nice of Guidance Counselor Brad to give me a ride in his trucks. Oh, the trucks very loose into the first of the turns at Pocono. Gonna have to sort that out. Truck feels great through turn two. Now let's see how she is through turn three. Feels good through three, so it looks like our problem's going to be turn one. He wants to go to the pit lane already. I'm hopeful of a good, good position here now. Oh, truck really loose. That's into the wall. Ah, uh, so I can tell you where we're going to start now then. They all want to chalk up the number 31 position already. No, we've got to tighten that truck up straight away then. Oh, no, 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 that's it. Oh, we suck. It's going to be a tough race around Pocono, I have a feeling. 31st? Well, they do call it the Tricky Triangle for a reason. Oh well. Let's get out of there then. Here we go, we're getting ready, and the green flag's in the air, we're racing around Pocono. So the first stage is 15 laps and we got, oh, well, I think it's going to be a one-stop race here. Now instantly I've tightened the truck up and that feels a lot better. Look at that, round the outside of what? That must be about six trucks were around the outside of we get put in the wall by Todd Peck. There's Dow's at with the truck that uh, we won with uh, last race. We get a hell of a run through turn two. We're going to go underneath Matt Mills and Todd Peck. We might as well get Wendell Chambers and uh, Travis Quaffle there as well. I nearly didn't pay attention. They're three wide in front of me. Joe Niebercheck with uh, Tommy Joe Martins and uh, Todd Gilliland. Tommy Joe's probably in the wall, that's uh, awfully nice, with Wendell Chavis doing the same thing. As we get passed by Jennifer Joe. Tommy Joe are really high, we're going to squeeze between the two! Oh, there's a good move for you as we get underneath Matt Mills, now we're into the 
top 20 almost. If it wasn't for these three slow corners, I guarantee it's a super speedway Pocono. As uh, we give uh, Hans Niemicek a love tap past Tyler Young. Oh, Hunter Niemicek's going around. Is he going to save it? He saves it. So we come up to Targill. Look at the speed. Austin Wayne himself. And Regan Smith. Back out of it. Before we uh, all get to TJ Bell, we nearly lose it into turn one. What's TJ Bell doing that high? Cody Coughlin and Stuart Friesman here, now he's telling me to go high. Cody Coughlin's going high. We've gone high, we're in the top 13. As we come up to Ben Rhodes. And Ross Chastain, Ross Chastain's having a great race. And there's JJ Yaley. JJ Yaley on the curb out of turn three. We're going to go between the two, I think, here. Look. Pick up the draft off Ryan Truex. Now, see if we can get Enfinger. And we're up into the playoff position. Sorry, we're up to the stage points positions now. There's the truck we should have raced this race. John Hunt and Imacek. He's going to go around, he's going to get the wall, he's going to save it, he's going to... Oh, we had to check up then. Coming up to our teammate, no, it's not our teammate, sorry, that's Austin Hill, our teammate's Austin Sindrick. What am I talking about? He's got Mayat Schneider in front of him. And that's going to be into the top five. And here's our teammate, Austin Sindrick. It's going to start getting a little tougher now, I think. Got the draft. That's Noah Gregson in front of Sindrick. Noah Gregson just holding him up. Who's leading then? We're having a pass that's leading. Because we've got Crafton up ahead. We're just boxed in against the wall between Sindrick and Gregson. Who is leading? Oh, it's Chris Bell. I forgot Chris Bell. Able to get into the corner so good through turn two. It sets up turn three perfectly. See, that's the wall, Ian. The wall is not considered part of the racetrack. So that is uh, Kraft and Past, and now it's 2.3 seconds to Chris Bell. What a run through turn two. We, we knocked half a second off through turn two. Maybe I might want to consider changing already to who I'm going to race for. 
Maybe you should race for Brad Kislowski. Guidance counselor Brad. <clears throat> Best lap ever, 54-5. Look how much of a run we just got through turn two. One, sorry. We should get a run through here and it should be a pass into turn three. Chris Bell in the JBL truck has just got no answer. And that is last to first in eight laps. Incredible. Maybe I've tightened the truck up a little too much. Now just take it easy. Don't uh, don't waste too much on the, the tyres with the triangle. Such a big track is uh, Pocono. It's uh, two and a half miles, but it's not classified as a super speedway. And on race day, you should see it when they come down, certainly this shoot here, all the trees start bending with the force that they, uh, certainly they're in a pack, so they just bend the trees. There's that much force. Cars just, I did tighten the truck up before the race. And I think I tightened it a little too much, so at the pit stop, not um, this after this stage, but certainly after the next stage, I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. But what did it say, I'm this faster than tight. <laughs> What are we going to be like when you loosen this truck up a little bit? I'll probably be slow. But then again, you'd rather be fast and tight than slow and loose. Because if you're slow and loose, you'll be all over the place. Four to go around the tricky triangle. As you can see, it's nearly a minute a lap. Yeah, car's not rotating through turn one like I need it to. But yeah, it was when it was really loose, so figure that one out. I wonder what guidance counselor Brad's gonna make of this. He's seeing the guy that was so fast in Iowa, in the worst truck out there. T 
take over the truck that finished about 30 laps down or however many it was and it's leading the race and Chase is probably sitting uh, somewhere in this compound and he's thinking what the hell in English mate the Brit is beating you Oh, that was a heck of a lap. 54-1. Ah, we come up to lap trucks. It's got an itch in my eye. Didn't need that. Let's see if we can lap these trucks before the end of the stage. these trucks need to behave, they look like they're free wide. Who is it back here? Oh, it's like Matt Mills. We've got Spencer Boyd. Dowser and Matt Mills, yeah. And they're not going to play ball. Remember that truck I won with in Iowa? As we go free wide, that was cool. That truck we won with Iowa is back there. It's a lap down now. They're all going to be wanting my signature. I'll guarantee you now, Carl Bunch will give you a ride next race. I think I do one more at Chicago land. It's going to look like. Ah, oh, it's the end of the stage. Well, that was easy. You know, we're not pitting, right? We can't possibly pit. No one else is, so why should we? Right then, let's buggy. Get ready to go back under green here at Pocono. We're starting on pole. With TJ Bell next to us. Sorry, Chris Bell. 12 to go in this stage and Chris Sindrick is pushing the wrong truck. Hello, I'm your teammate. Austin Hill in fourth. Where's he come from? Hello, I'm your teammate. He's supposed to be pushing me, not him. Take lead into turn two. Absolutely, why not? And I'll give uh, TJ a shove out the way, see if Sindrick can take advantage of that. Let's have a BKR one, two. And Sindrick does go through into the lead. Sorry, second place. So, Brad Keselowski racing one and two. That's good. I'm sure Brad's got three trucks. I can't remember who his third truck is. If you know who Brad Keselowski's third truck, if he even has a third truck, answer the postcard, please. 
and then send it to uh, Brad Keselowski because his third truck's missing. Yeah, what's the bet I'll get a Carl Busch ride the next race? Kyle will be looking at this thinking, I'm not having Brad take this guy, I want him. Problem is, guys, I've already made my mind up what I'm doing next season. It's up to you to come up with a better offer. Just a little nudge of the brakes just to get it turned into the corner a little bit. to run in the low 55s and to think I'm consistent and those that were running 53s in qualifying are nearly what three seconds down on me well they are three seconds down now Ridiculous. Gotta stop going up that high into that corner. That's uh, gonna end up in the wall if I'm not careful. Like that. Now we're down into the 54s. close to the wall please show some decorum that's the line there we go and what's deceiving about Poclo is it's three different corners I can't remember where this corners from the banking style I think turn two we're coming up to is off the old Trentum Oval and it's Ma Nashville not Nashville sorry New Hampshire for uh, turn three I know they're designed off three different uh, Courses, but I just can't remember for the life of me. I can't remember what turn one is. I'll have to look that up for you before uh, stage three. That's, yeah, that's in the wall. Well, that was smart. <laughs> 5.5 5 
five to go in this uh, stage. And we've got a commanding lead. To say that we've dominated this race would be the understatement of the year. I imagine at the end of this stage, everyone's going to come in, because I think it is a one-stop stage. One-stop race, I should say. I think if I remember right, there was 32 laps for a... Uh, for a stint on fuel, so... I think it's 15, 15, 25 as well, so everyone will make it. It's just a case of who has the better pit stops. Which in my case probably won't be me. Although I have got the BKR trucks, uh... Pit crew, so uh, we should be uh, good to go. As we uh, have three left in this stage. This is all rather sedate and serene. It's like Gateway all over again. And the reason they do call it the Tricky Triangle is because it's got three different corner types, three different bankings. You don't know how to set your car up properly. Or your truck, even. This is all looking so, so easy. Please believe me, it's not as easy as this looks. As we see the lap trucks in front of us again, we'll be getting the one to go. Absolutely, one to go, presented by Cooper Standard. Stage two is going to end in a domination. We're not going to catch them two lap trucks, which I presume are going to be uh, Boyd and Dow's at. want to go on the curb that'll spin your truck around and uh, it looks like we're gonna take number 29 to another stage victory as a certain spot would say stage winner IJP right I know what we're gonna do we're gonna pit I think everyone's gonna pit it's gonna be a full field pit oh there's Todd Gilliman that's uh down there, so Todd Gilliland's having an awful race for uh, KBR.
car bush racing. Right, everyone's pitting, so we shall as well. Two cans, four tyres, we will take a compromise that much. Let's go green. So for some reason, we lost 11, we lost 10 positions, we're down to 11th. We're back under green flag. Now let's see how this truck is. We should be okay on fuel. We're okay on fuel, we're okay on the race. And as I feared, we've loosened the truck up too much. As so we're going to give uh, Truex a bump down the back straight. We're three wide with Chastain. And uh, who is that behind me? I haven't a clue. Who is that? Who was that behind me? That was Ben Rhodes. Got Noah Gregson and Mayet Schneider in front of us. We take a rather unusual line into the corner. We're going to give Crafton a shot down uh, the front straight. Let's make it three wide with Crafton and Hunter Nemechek. Using Austin Hill to pull us through. Have a free wide round the outside of Bell and Hill. And BKR are back at one and two. It's just it's Sindrick leading me. He's coming down to block, but he's got no answer. Oh, he's turned me! Oh, is that how he wants to play it? Right then. We're getting a bump draft off uh, Chris Bell as uh, Austin Hill takes uh, second place. So that's how Mr. Uh, Sindrick wants to play this, does he? I'm game for that. Let's play. We'll take second back off Austin Sindrick. Sorry, Austin Hill. We're chasing Austin Sindrick. That was rather cheeky of Mr. Uh, Sindrick there. Guidance Councillor Brad would have had his head in his hands at that moment. We get a lovely toe off Sindrick down into the first corner. Now let's see what Sindrick does this time. Uh, he's going to go outside, so I'm going to go inside. And that'll be us taking the lead, and we get a shot off him into the chute. That's how a pass is done there, Mr. Uh, Sindrick. Except he's not done, he wants a bit more. But he's not going to get it. You might get it though after I did that. Right then. Into turn one. Turn one. This is the corner that's uh, designed after Trenton. That's 14 degrees of banking. And then we go up to the 8 degree banking of Indianapolis at turn 2. And uh, I got it right with the banking style but just the wrong circuit. 6 degree banking and it is Milwaukee Mile. 
That's a point. Where's the Milwaukee Mile in this game? Look at that, that hurry down into the 54s. So loosening the truck up benefited. It's now going to be a question of what's going to happen towards the end of the race. We've got 27 laps of the fuel, 20 laps, 21 to go as we cross the stripe. There we go. Now we're in the groove. Oh, I feel like singing. I'm in the mood for dancing. No, don't do that. You'll make it rain. Actually, make it rain, and then uh, the race is over as we go very wild, tight into turn one. That's not the way you take uh, turn one. That is the way you take turn two, however. Just ease off slightly and then... Throw it in, but turn three is like you gotta... Ease off and hold and ease and hold. Twenty laps to go. Everyone just breathed in a sigh of relief. As we throw the car in there, get it nice down on the line. Rotating beautifully through the corner. I'm sure you can take this um, turn two flat if you get the right car. Turn two is going to disagree otherwise. Not really much you can do out on your own. I suppose I can try and do a 53. Let's see if I can do a 53. At the moment, my fastest is a 54 1, so I've got to find two temps on the fastest. Right, you know, correct that. It's only one tenth, isn't it? Just over a tenth. We're gonna find. But we're getting slightly faster each lap. Oh, that's the perfect line. Almost. Give the wall a little nudge. Oh, that was good. Right down on the yellow line, that was such a good corner. How can this not be a 50 sub 54? Oh, ho, ho. There's a lap for you, 53.8. And there'll be some people sitting there, I can go faster than that.
mind you, this setup is supposed to design to do a 52.6. Yeah, 52.6 in a draft, maybe, but not to anything else as we see the lap cars. So we're now going to have some fun. Diving in and out of the lap cars. Let's see if we can have some fun with these guys. Because the only way of keeping me preoccupied from going to sleep. It's going to be Matt Mills, the first track we, truck we lap. Not track we lap. Not quite in his range yet. We are now, I can feel the vibrations. He's going to adopt the low lines, we adopt the high line through uh, that turn. Now next will be Brian Dowser. See the speed differential? As Spencer Boyd pushes it up high. Comes Clay Greenfield. Who decides he wants to uh, come and adopt our line. That'll be a caution, surely. We remain green. Well, that was all Greenfield fault, that was. So Greenfield must have saved it, so we remain under green. Right then, so Ben Rhodes is pitting. That's a strange one. But we're not gonna pit, we're gonna stay out. Yes, we will not pit. So we are uh, getting ready to go to the green flag. KBR on the front row. We are green again at Pocono Raceway and uh, Sindrick's got a hell of a shot. Austin Hill's now gi giving us the shove after Sindrick. Out of nowhere comes John Hunt and Nemechek. That's a payback from earlier. Spotter's telling us keep high. We'll stay high, thank you. Oh, look at this. The BKR trucks have got some horsepower going down here. We're going to get into the wall. Oh, nearly into the wall and nearly into Sindrick. Guidance Councillor Brad would not have been impressed with that. As we get for the 10 to go across the stripe. We're all right on fuel. So if it does go uh, green, white, checkered. We'll be able to make it. I don't know why Ben Rhodes pitted. That's a strange one, unless Ben Rhodes collected uh, Clay Greenfield. The problem with these lap trucks, they don't have uh, blue flags over here to get them out of the way. You've got to race the lap cars. Oh, that's where Todd Gilliland is. Todd Gilliland's been in the pits all this time. So, uh, rip R.A.P. Todd Gilliland.
just over driving it into turn one and uh, that's why the wall came and said hello. We got a good battle for a second between Sindrick and Bell. Bell in the Carl Bush truck, Sindrick in the Brad truck, and then Lurk in his Matt Craft, and in another, I believe he's Carl Bush as well. I'll tell you now, a lot of the drivers on NASCAR and the upper series, the Xfinity and the um, Sprint, the Monster Energy, I should say, they'll be looking at this and thinking, oh, this guy's good. <sighs> yeah, you don't want to be any closer to the barrier than that. Car absolutely perfect through turns two and three. If we just sort out turn one, we'll get another cracking lap in. There we go, that's the perfect line. It's not quite the perfect line, but it'll do. That was the wall. See, if the wall wasn't there, that was the perfect line too. I think I think Cancellor Brad will offer me a drive with this truck after this race. I don't need me no Chase Briscoe, I need this guy. This is my man. Well, thank you. If you will allow me to drive my own truck, then... Uh We'll do a deal. If not... It's your loss. And as you heard from the spotter, five to go. Another five minutes of racing. I also reckon this will be two in a row, three in a row, three in a row because I want a gateway, I want a Iowa, and now I've won here, so that's three in a row, it'll be a four out of six conversion rate. I think we'd have won Atlanta if we had the truck under us. 
and we should have won Dover. If not for uh, Grand Envinger. Let's throw it down into turn one. Hold the line, hold the line, hold the line, don't hit the wall. Little confidence lift help does not hit the wall there. I've not had the best of luck though in uh, these races recently. We've had uh, last lap cautions. <laughs> Any time now there might be one. Probably not. There will be if I keep hitting the wall like that. The front of my truck just looks torn up. I bet Brad put a stipulation in there. Well, I'll give you this truck, but you got to that ruin it. Sorry, Brad. Mind you, maybe I've got Chase Briscoe's truck because Chase is already locked into the chase. As we come to, I believe this is going to be one to go. Yep, one to go. White flag presented by Credit One Bank. And there's only one truck that the commentators are going to be talking about. Don't get too close to turn uh, number two there. We'll just take it easy through turn three. And that is going to be victory in Pocono. That was kind of easy, that. Ah, uh, here's a Brad Keselowski, 1-2. Todd Gilden, 51 laps down, RIP Todd Gilden. <laughs> but, uh, I think uh, Guidance Councillor Brad will be happy with that one. We are 13th in the championship. Four wins. 26 playoff points. I'm happy with that. See if Brad's going to join me with the celebration. Here in uh, Richard Petty Victory Circle. That's probably him in the back there with the camera. That's that, 33.8, we'll take that. We also led the most laps, 47 out of 60. We are also on the move, because we started last and we finished best. First to worst. Tough break for Enfinger, 4th to 14th. Alright, let's see who's next.
Nice job. Oh, come on, Brad. Really? You're not going to give me a ride after that? He's such a stingy person, his guidance counsellor, Brad. Ben Rhodes, Rockstar Pool, been following your progress this season. You're excited to see which team you choose. Hashtag tough choices. Well, it is a tough choice, uh, Mr. Rhodes, but uh, I've already kind of uh, decided in my mind. Right. Is this going to be the Chicago Land Race? I know it's Michigan. Let's see, will we get Michigan? Oh, we got Michigan. And we got M Fingers truck again. <laughs> oh, they didn't want to work with me in uh, Pocono, but apparently they want me to work with me in Michigan. So, for the next video, we are going to run the 8 truck at Michigan. All in all, it's a good race, really. So,. Thank you all very much for watching. We shall see you on the next video when hopefully, finally, we'll actually get to run number eight of Nenko Motorsports.